compounds and then we're going to study more examples of aromatic as well as anti-aromatic compounds. Now students see this compound. This is cyclobutadiene. Now this compound, first of all, is cyclic. It is consists of conjugated system of double bond. Then all the carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized that's why it is planar okay now we're going to see whether it follow huckel rule or not now this cyclobutadiene contain as you can see two pi bonds Uh, sorry student there is one technical issue due to wi-fi now students as you can uh, as i'm going to tell you there are two pi bonds here two pi bonds means it contain four pi electrons right now in hakel system or in hakel rule we have two Sorry. we have two six ten fourteen electrons right but this cyclobutadiene contain four pi electrons and this four pi electrons come in four end rule four eight ten sorry or twelve sixteen etc right so four that's why these follow 4N rule, not Huckel rule of aromaticity. And that's why cyclobutadiene is anti-aromatic. Okay, I hope everyone get the idea of what is anti-aromatic compound. Aromatic compound and anti-aromatic compounds, okay, they 
फॉलो फर्स्ट थ्री रूल साइक्लिक कॉन्जुगेटेड सिस्टम ऑफ डबल बॉन्ड एंड प्लेन आर बट दे डू नॉट फॉलो हकेल रूल ऑफ एरोमेटिसिटी नाउ एंटी एरोमेटिक कंपाउंड दिस एंटी मीन्स इट इज अपोजिट इट इज अपोजिट टू एरोमेटिसिटी राइट एंटी मीन्स इट शूज एंटी अपोजिट टू एरोमेटिसिटी मीन्स इट इज अनस्टेबल सो एंटी एरोमेटिसिटी टेल्स अस अबाउट द अनस्टेबिलिटी ऑफ दैट पर्टिक्युलर कंपाउंड सो साइक्लोब्यूटाडाइन इज एंटी एरोमेटिक दैट्स वाई इट इज अनस्टेबल एरोमेटिक कंपाउंड्स आर ऑलवेज स्टेबल कंपाउंड्स बट एंटी एरोमेटिक कंपाउंड्स आर अनस्टेबल कंपाउंड्स now in the last lecture we already studied some aromatic compounds like benzene naphthalene anthracene as well as ions such as cyclopropenyl anion right and cyclopentadienyl anion also so see students here now this compound cyclopropenyl cation now this compound is aromatic in nature right because it follows or it contain two pi electrons and due to this two pi electron system okay this compound is aromatic in nature but when i write negative charge here when the, there is a negative charge when there is a presence of lone pair of electrons right now this compound is cyclic it also follow uh, it also has conjugated system of double bonds because this compound undergoes resonance how this undergoes resonance right and that's why here lone pair acts as a pi bond so here this compound is cyclic it is planar as well as is contain conjugated system of pi bond now how many pi electrons it contain actually it contain only one pi bond so one pi bond which is equal to two pi electrons but lone pair lone pair which is present here also acts as a pi bond means this lone pair are converted into bond pair and that's why we have to count them also so 2 plus 2 how many 4 pi electrons right now this 4 pi electrons means it follows 4 n rule it follows which rule four n rule and that's why this cyclopropenyl anion is anti aromatic now again i have to show you okay see this if this is a positive charge then it contain two pi electron that's why it is aromatic now when it contain lone pair of electrons right when it contain lone pair of electrons that means it has a total four pi electrons and that's why it is anti aromatic now we going to study one more example this one this is called cyclopropene this is sim simply cyclopropene and this carbon atom do not contain positive and negative charge no charge is there okay so when there is a no charge that means this cyclopropenyl
cyclopropene right so that means this cyclopropene do not undergoes conjugation means listen again i repeat all these things first it is a cyclic right second thing is conjugated system of double bond right but this conjugated system of double bond is not there okay and when there is a no conjugated system of double bond present at that time we can say that the compound is non aromatic it is not aromatic it is not anti aromatic it is simply non aromatic so cyclopropene because of absence of conjugated system of double bonds it is non aromatic in nature what is the another reason for this you can see this carbon atom this carbon atom is sp3 hybridized okay and our criteria is each carbon atom is sp2 hybridized so this carbon atom is sp3 hybridized right and that's why it is non aromatic in nature so students these are the three examples of the same molecule okay so like cation anion and simply neutral molecule cyclopropene okay one is aromatic another one is anti aromatic and third one is non aromatic non aromatic means that particular compound do not contain anti aromatic character as well as aromatic character now similar way i am going to uh, going to take another three examples of the same molecule one is cation anion and neutral molecule and the example is cyclo penta diene now see this is simply cyclo penta diene this is cyclopenta dienyl cation and this is cyclopenta dienyl anion okay so these are the these are of of same molecule right so what about first molecule this one okay as you can see this carbon atom is sp3 hybridized as well as it do not contain any charge that's why there is no possibility of resonance no possibility of conjugated system of double bond and that's why this compound is non aromatic what about this carbon atom oh, sorry this molecule now this molecule is cyclic planar uh, it also contain conjugated system of double bond now it contain two pi bonds means it contain four pi electrons which is followed by 4n rule of anti aromaticity as so for this compound is anti aromatic now what about this compound how many pi bonds two pi bonds and lone pair also acts as a lone pair and that's why this compound is also follow hockel rule of aromaticity okay that is 6 pi electrons three pi bond means 6 pi electrons and that's why this is aromatic in nature okay so as you can see okay out of this three any one example may be asked in exam okay you have to write okay accordingly if it is no charge non aromatic plus charge anti aromatic negative charge then it is aromatic
Now another example we're going to take is here I am to write down positive charge. Then another example of the same molecule. As you can count here, total seven carbon atoms are there. Okay, so what is the name of this compound? Cyclo, hepta, because seven, triene, because three double bonds are there. Okay, this is also called tropelium compound, or if it is ion, then it is tropelium anion and tropelium cation. Now, this first compound, okay, can you tell me it is aromatic or anti aromatic? Okay, due to this positive charge and negative charge, this compound contains conjugated system of double bond. So, these two compounds follow first three criteria cyclic planar system as well as conjugated system of double bond we just count the pi bonds or pi electrons here three pi bonds three pi bonds means it contains six pi electrons means it follow huckel rule of aromaticity and that's why it is aromatic in nature now this compound it contain three pi like three pi bond first of all but this lone pair also acts as a pi electron so six pi electron then lone pair it also acts as a pi bond that's why two pi electrons so it is two pi uh, total eight pi electrons are there okay eight pi electrons means it follow four n rule and that's why this is anti-aromatic so in case of tropylium cation and anion cation is aromatic and anion is anti-aromatic so this is what you can see that every time we just follow the rules okay or we see that the particular compound the particular criteria is that we are following or not if it is follow that rule, okay, then it is aromatic. If it is not, then it is anti-aromatic. Now we're going to study next set of compounds. And that is called heterocyclic compounds. Now these heterocyclic compounds contain at least one heteroatom. They contain at least one heteroatom in their cyclic ring. Now what do we mean by heteroatom? It may be nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur, phosphorus, etc. So these hetero, heterocyclic compounds are also four member, five member, six member, seven member, etc. Right? But in our uh, in our syllabus, only two types of compounds are there. Okay, which two types of compounds? Five member ring and six member ring. So five member ring, we're going to study only three examples again. Or question be in ke upar hi aata hai. Okay. Name of first heterocyclic compound is furan. This is thiophene and this is 
pyrrole now question asked in exam is why furan shows aromatic character why thiophene shows aromatic character why pyrrole shows aromatic character etc so why this compound shows aromatic character what is the reason let's follow all the rules all the criteria so first criteria they should contain conjugated system of double bonds okay is they contain conjugated system of double bond yes because of double bond as well as lone pair present on oxygen sulfur and nitrogen oxygen contain two lone pair sulfur contain two lone pair and nitrogen contain one lone pair so due to this they follow first three rules they contain conjugated system of double bond planarity and cyclic nature now we going to study is this compound follow hackel rule or not all these compounds contain two pi bonds right means how many pi electrons four pi electrons now lone pair only one lone pair acts as a bond pair so lone pair is equal to two pi electrons so how many pi electrons are there six pi electrons right and six pi electrons means they follow hackel rule of aromaticity so students we are going to stop here and in in the next lecture we going to start with some more compounds